Yo, in this video, we're going to explore how to create two tips to enhance your report in Power BI. Imagine you having something like a report you can see on my screen. But what I can see is just the state and then um, you know, the state and the total sales actually, but I can actually have more information regarding this instead of just viewing what is here like this, like this. So the way you can achieve that is by having a two tips, right? So what I'm going to do is to create a two tip page. So I'll come here and click plus sign and this plus sign, I'll go to my format pane and comes to page information and say allow two tips once i do that it's going to change the settings of this page to two tips right and then this is my two tips page to be able to see this you can kind of zoom it a little bit so it's easy right one thing i want to do is i want to have the heading of uh, that particular state at the top of this two tip page so i'm going to go to my visualization and select multi row card then i'll go to my location table and select state now it's going to show a uh, different state, but never mind. Since it's the two tips, you can just edit it and make sure it shows only one. Just reduce the size and make sure it shows only one like this. And you can change the, the color of the card to color blue, which is this color that I've been using for my dashboard design. So the next thing I'm going to do is to probably do a card design, like basically three card designs. So I have some card design in my previous report, so I can just actually, um, copy those cards so i don't have to reinvent the wheel so i can copy them so i can copy this this and this i'll just copy it and move it to this page right since i want to use this three cards okay so this card that i copy i can now align it and make it perfectly uh, size to two tip size so one thing i would do first is to go to call out reduce the size to like 11 and then also the label size to um 10 even if possible even hit and even if I can reduce this more to like even nine, I think nine is fine. Then I'm going to reduce the icon. So if you don't, if you want to learn how to create this card, I think I've already done that in my previous video. You can watch that. So I can now reduce the size of this, the, even this icon, right? Then I'm going to reduce this to the right. Just reduce this card a little bit to the right like this and also reduce it at the top like this. And I think I, I'll, I'll use the normal, the normal shape, which is the rectangle shape. I don't want to use that special shape. So I can reduce the card like this and the card can fit perfectly like um, it's something like this, right? So I have something like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use Format Pinter to format the rest so I don't have to reinvent the wheel. So I'll click on this one and change the shapes to rectangle shape and also move it at the top here profit so i'm gonna move it and then make it aligned so i'll also do the same thing for this format painter and do this and also change the shape but you notice the format painter is changing my card um icon right so i can actually go and change the icon back myself myself so i can rename the the total unit so i think that's too long so i can rename it as unit so so to show the entire test and I can change the icon again if I want by going to card, then you see the image here, switch off this image and select another type of image, probably this one, and click on this one to switch off the image, select another image, which is this one. All right. So the next thing I'm going to probably put is just a card, uh, 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 no, e e e just a bar chart, right? So let me select a bar chart here and come here and just um, select what I want to see here. So. I want to see my retailer just to show retailer by sales. So retailer by sales or even profit. Let's see the profit that each of this, this is generated. So retailer by profit. Then I'm adding a little bit of format to this. So I'm going to switch off this title of this and expand this a bit so that it will show uh, that. Then for the X axis, switch off the label, even switch off the X axis. I can now switch on the data label to show this inside that. And the position should be inside hand. Can you reduce the value a bit so it's not too big? So, and then I can change the color of my bar to the blue that I'm using for my dashboard design. Yep. And the next thing is to change the title, reduce the size of the title, profit by retailer, profit by retailer. And I think um, that's it basically. I can even reduce the size of the Y axis. So, it shows perfectly well. So I have this like best. So let me move this down a bit. 
and then let me move this like this so this what i have now basically is like a two tips right so now the most important thing after you've designed your two tip page is to put something inside this place look at here two tip and that's what you want to generate as two tips so for me i want state since anyway i use a state in my report i wanted to have a two tips so i'm going to go to my location table and drag state here you can drag as many as you want if, if not just only state but since i've already make this state at the top here state at the top here so it's advisable to use state right so once i have this i think um that's it basically i've successfully created my two tip page i'll just go back to my report where i want to use it let me reduce the size of this so you can see it in full so now since this is where i want to use it i'll just select this chart go to my formatting pane go to general you see two tips here if it's not on you can switch it on and then change the type from default to report page and change the page you see the page of your two tips now mine is called page one right page one so oh, i can even rename it as a uh, let me go and rename it so i can rename it as a uh, uh, state two tip two tip right and it's always advisable to hide it so that it's not showing in your reports you know it's just a two tip so i'm going to hide it so i go back here now i'm going to read um, now select this again go to my two tip general report page and then select you will see sales two tip here sales two tip and once i do that when you write your mouse on it you see that it's going to show a uh, two tips let's see my two tip is not showing okay so i think it's default report page and sales two tip right and let's go here and you can see that so when you write your mouse on that you will see that it's showing the two tips design and we have more information now compared to what we have before this is the Texas state the sales make there the profit generated the the unit sold and you can see the profit by retailer uh, spread and i think uh, that is it and that's how to create the two tips